Hey guys, so I put together some the gag reel and bloopers for my new movie Kidnapper and I think while we were shooting we met John Favre. Alright guys, so stay tuned for us meeting John Favre, um, who, if you didn't know, is the actor in Swingers. Um, but I'm just gonna show you some funny bloopers that we made, so enjoy. Action! Try something? Wanna try it again? I <laughs> first What? I'm getting a call. <laughs> Dang it. We might need to move back a little bit. What are you guys doing? Talk that way. You're right. so you're so money and you don't even know it. That's what I keep trying to tell you. So could you not mess with me right now? Oh, we're making a horror movie. No way. <laughs> yes. It's about mm -hmm. a kidnapper. Oh. <laughs> really? Huh? Yes. Good. All right. So well, thank you. Getting abducted. Uh, he is. <laughs> yes. I'm so, just the director. So set me up. What do you got? What's the scene gonna look like? Um. So we have. Tyler here, yeah. who is, I'm trying to persuade to not go over to the kidnappers area. A few moments later. Um, I need to write a news article about a missing kid. Oh. So I'm going up there to get the address. To get the, get the information, but your, your buddy here is trying to say don't go. Yeah. Yes. Got issues. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that scene, that's a good scene. And then you have another scene. Yes. You're right into the blockbuster, right? Uh -huh. Watch on Netflix. Yes. Right? Baby, it's not that hard. Five years. Wait, am I recording? Yeah. Hey guys, um, I'm sorry I made you watch that. That was probably painful to you for you, but those are the main bloopers we have. What are you guys doing? Make a movie or something? All right, guys. Um, so I just noticed something. Uh, I was going through some of the footage. Um, that I took of John Favreau's like career, and I noticed that decided to write his own script, find a director, and have his struggling actor friends fill the roles they inspired. Swingers, the film set in the ultra hip back alley night spots of Hollywood, is the result. The biggest coincidence ever is that after I shot this movie, and that happened, that part where I thought I was talking to him. After that, then I watched Swingers, and then I knew who he was. Before, when I was shooting, I didn't know who he was. To be honest, I thought he was a kidnapper. And the second biggest inspiration for editing this movie, the director and someone who acted in a movie that was the biggest inspiration for the movie we're making here, actually spoke to us, possibly, in real life. That would be the biggest breakthrough through, I think I've ever had, and I mean, I've had a lot of breakthroughs, but that is the biggest coincidental thing ever. Are you sure about that? i just like to say um, that I thought he was very nice, um, the person we met. I mean, even if that's not John Favreau, the person we met, uh, I really appreciate them f for coming up to us and asking us about, about what we're doing, because they're the only pe people who actually did that the entire time we shot, so it was very nice. And guys, just to make sure you know, I don't want to 
make you guys think that this was 100% John Favreau. Just from what I remember seeing and hearing his voice, I'm pretty sure it's 90% him. But, um, I just like to thank anyone who, who came up to us and asked us what we were doing. It was really nice. So if you guys think that's crazy, make sure to like, um, smash that subscribe button. And I think the main lesson that can be learned here is just make a movie, even if you don't think it's going to be good. If you're making a movie, you're out there, people are going to notice you. They're going to want to talk to you about it. And it might be John Favreau. Who knows? If you have a film that you've completed and you want me to see it, uh, just go to kidsshowcasecompetition.com and it's for free. Just submit it there and I'll get to see it. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Oh, Mike, I'm telling you, man. She thought you were mother.